that wild, nigga. Take that wild. Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, a few people out there, including the legendary singer Janet Jackson, are quite concerned about the Empire actor Jesse Smollett, who was recently busted orchestrating a hate crime on himself for publicity. Now, the star was detained by the police on the 20th of February for filing a false report claiming he had been the victim of a hate crime in Chicago. Now, ever since that all occurred, reports have it that the sister of Michael Jackson has been trying her best to get in touch with Jesse, but two sources claim she hasn't had any luck thus far. Now, an insider who spoke with the Daily News said Jesse friends are upset and worried because they haven't been able to get in touch with him. Now, since Smullett changed his phone number through Three times since the 22nd January attack, people began losing contact with him. One insider who spoke with the outlet claims that producers on Empire couldn't get a hold of him either when they were trying to let him know of his fate on the fifth season of Empire. Now, Smullett apparently is visiting a friend who works in the finance industry. Now, following Smullett's chat with authorities, Jackson took to her Twitter to say, sending my love. On the 4th of February, Jussie wished Janet Jackson a happy birthday and described her as the greatest living entertainer in front of his 1.39 million followers. Now, as it was previously reported, Smullett claims he was attacked by two men who shouted, M-A-G-A country, as well as racist and homophobic evidence. Now, however, it was later revealed to be a fake plot to garner publicity for himself. Mm. Now, through social media, Jesse Smollett's TV father, Terrence Howard, expressed his support for the actor. He wrote, all your little homies got you. We love the hell out of you. Mm. Now, it appears as though Jesse has still a few friends fighting in his corner. And at a time when social media has expressed nothing but outrage, ever since his story came out, people on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook have doubted his story. Hmm, well, you know, I'm just waiting on all the information. And, you know, if he did do it, you know, I do. Uh, I'm one to say that he should uh, take accountability. And if he has done it, my advice to Jesse is to, you know, admit. That's the first part of uh, really um, uh getting the help he needs is to just admit what he did. Now, he says some of the stuff he didn't do, but just come out and just be a man and admit what he did and ask for sympathy, forgiveness, empathy, whatever, you know. But to keep on lying, that's not going to, you know, even they, you know, they also said uh, he has an untreated drug problem. Uh, so, uh, just admit it and seek help. All right. Well, I'm going to keep him still in my prayers and ask that you too. All right. Thanks so much, uh, for watching my video. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'm partying. Be blessed.